Hi there, my name is Toby and on this video I want to talk about what I think is perhaps the most important thing to understand in martial arts and it's perhaps also the most neglected thing in martial arts. You hardly see anyone doing this correctly or even understanding this and it is about holding a vertical aligned spine and this is most important and it's because the spine is the center of your body structure and the center of your body movement now people use the core that's known but the core by itself is not quite enough it's the entire spine you have to learn how to hold your spine vertical and this is the basic punch that you see all beginners do in all traditional standing martial arts. You sit in a horse riding stance, keeping square shoulders and punching left and right. But the important part of this exercise is understanding and holding the correct spinal alignment. Now remember, this is still not fighting, this is just body dynamics. So you'll see MMA fighters or practical fighters, they don't bother with this exercise. But in traditional martial arts, everyone does this exercise. Now why? Well, the reason is or well, the reason should be is because you're trying to practice a vertical spine and pivot you've got to pivot exactly down this vertical line now the spine has got to be in its natural s curve and held under a certain amount of dynamic tension so you've got to lift the rib cage and shoulders up and back there's a slight expansion in the rib cage the sternum tilts slightly upwards that gives me a backwards arch and then the belly's pulled in the obliques are pulled in tight so there's a continuous tension all the way up this backward arch of the spine or S curve of the spine goes down into the horse riding stance where the hips are active the hips are open at the front but also projecting backwards a little bit like I'm sitting on a chair so this creates a dynamic stretch in the hips and what I'm doing is then pulsing left and right in the hips a tiny bit pivoting up the vertical spine so I can feel that pulse rising up through the spine to the shoulders I'm just warming up here trying to feel the alignment you see the hips move a tiny bit early and then the, the shoulders move a tiny bit later so there's a delay between the hips and the shoulders now furthermore after that I use the forward I'm throwing the hip out that transmits up the spine to the shoulder which throws the hand out but before the hand has reached its extension I'm already pulling back you see so the shoulder is already pulling backwards before the hand extends to the end then the elbow and wrist are loose these are relaxed I'm throwing out whip strikes but when the shoulder is pulled back before the fist extends this creates a powerful whip down the arm it stops the punch but it creates a whip down to the wrist and the fingers and what I want you to see is the movement in my wrist so this is all super slow motion as I punch fast you'll see in a minute again the speed I'm punching you can see the whip coming out to the end of the fist now this whip is tricky to get and you want to get this whip in a nice line there's two types of whip you've got a longitudinal whip that goes up and down and then you've got a pressure whip that sort of goes extends expands and contracts but a whip you see you've got to create two parts of the movement up and then down or forward and then back so this is forward and then back I'm throwing the forward the shoulder forward but pulling it back before just before the punch reaches reaches its extension and this will create a whip down the, to the wrist now here I'm twisting a little bit further to extend the shoulder and you could do this with a big movement really shifting side to side but here I'm trying to keep it a bit closer so I'm not moving side to side too much I'm still trying to pivot exactly on a vertical center line and this is very very efficient because if you don't pivot on the line if you move your body weight or your spine is misaligned what happens is you're moving too much of your body weight and this slows you down it's too much effort if you pivot exactly on your center of gravity your body weight is not really moving anywhere you don't have to move your body weight you are pivoting on the spot this is very very fast extremely efficient and if you can move around doing this you've got to have your legs independent let you move so you move with your feet but you maintain this pivot vertical pivot in the spine you can create very fast powerful punches very efficiently but it, it looks it's very traditional it looks more like traditional martial arts it doesn't look like modern fighting uh, there's a big difference because this is about body efficiency not so much about 
practical combat. And it's a difficult skill to master, but once you master it, you can apply this to real combat. Remember, it's about holding a dynamic tension in the spine and you feel a wave rising up the spine from the hips to the shoulders. There's a delay and you've got to feel this up all the vertebrae of your spine. There needs to be a dynamic tension. So your spine is held like a spring twisting left and right. The bottom part of the spring is the hips. The top part of the spring is the shoulders. You move the bottom part of the spring and this transmits up the spring to the shoulders and throws out the hands. Okay, I hope this made sense and I look forward to seeing you on these other videos videos.